Hey, what's up? It's Justin with the Mood Challenge, and I wanted to talk to you real quick about what's on everyone's mind. It's getting pretty out of hand. We all know it. We all hate it. It's called the Corona. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what I think is gonna happen. I don't wanna go into detail about the science of it. What I wanna do is talk about your immune system, which is the number one way to protect yourself. Okay, so what is a virus anyway, before I go any further? A virus is not actually alive. It's actually a piece of DNA that's gone rogue and it hijacks other cells to replicate itself. You can imagine, it's like a pirate basically. And it takes over other ships and those ships take over other ships your cells and it just keeps going and going and going until it's left unchecked and it takes over the entire system. They talk a lot about precautions. Washing your hands of course for 20 minutes, just kidding, 20 seconds is a good way to get yourself rid of it, not touching your face, covering your mouth when you sneeze. Dabbing's never been more important in the history of the dab now is the time to use it. But I wanted to talk about certain supplements and natural supplements. It's not gonna be expensive and you can find these at your local grocery store or on Amazon, which is kind of local these days when you think about it. First thing I wanna talk about is vitamin C. Now I have a lemon here instead of an orange because there's a lot more sugar in oranges as well. Oranges, still a good choice, but when you crack it open, you're letting go a lot of the nutrients right off the bat. So what I do is I combine I use something called sodium ascorbate. Lemons, sodium ascorbate. Why? Vitamin C comes in a complex. You want the whole thing, ascorbic acid with all the other pieces, to work together. If you have a weakened immune system, it never hurts to boost it. Ascorbic acid is the biggest part of vitamin C. I'd say like three fourths of it. But this right here, it's buffered with sodium. Molecularly, it's sodium and ascorbic acid. So whenever you take it, stir it up in a glass of water, add some lemon juice, so you have a whole complex. You still have a boost of the ascorbic acid. Any pathogen that comes in to contact with you will be perished. Whenever I talk about the immune system, I always talk about the gut because it makes up 85% of your entire immune system. If your stomach acid is strong enough, you can burn up just about any pathogen that comes in. So one of the best places to get vitamin C and one of the best ways to boost your gut biome and probiotics, sauerkraut or cabbage. Cabbage is really good for your stomach and GI. That fermentation process, that's what grows lactic acid and that lactic acid is full of vitamin C. Another way to boost your gut, if say you don't like sauerkraut, it's too stinky or too flavorless for you, is something that I drink called kombucha. Kombucha is also another fermented food, really good for your gut. Whenever you're picking out a kombucha, just make sure that it's low in sugar. Sometimes they range from six grams all the way up to 11 grams. They can throw you out of ketosis. This one is zero, it just so happens, and is brewed right here in Georgia. You can find a ton of them at your local grocery store, or you can make your own. That's another video. Speaking of stomach acid and the high ability to absorb nutrients, anything that goes into your stomach, mostly proteins. Sometimes you can use apple cider vinegar, but I recommend using something called betaine hydrochloride. This stuff is legit. The more acidic your stomach, the more you'll be able to break down these vitamins that actually help boost your immune system. One of the most important vitamins for your immune system is vitamin D3. During the winter, it's terrible. Actually, something called the winter blues, that's because no one gets outside because it's cold or it's cloudy and they are deficient in vitamin D. 85% of the population is deficient. So I usually recommend a D3 supplement. If you are deficient, I would say do something like a 30 to 50,000 IU. Now that sounds like a lot, 50,000 sounds like an incredible amount of, um, of anything really. Just know this, 30,000 IUs, 50,000 IUs, that's about the equivalent of staying in the sun for 30 to 50 minutes. If you were to have sun outside, get that instead, without sunblock of course. If you don't have sun, if you stay inside much of the time, use a high dose of D3. D3 is a great way to boost your immune system. It connects just about everything together. In addition, it boosts your calcium intake into the blood, but once it gets there, you need something else. That's why I also recommend taking vitamin K2. Vitamin D3 and K2 work together. If you have a lot of calcium in your body, it usually goes to different parts like your joints or your arteries. It can go even go to your eyes as you know cataracts. But the K2 takes it out of the soft tissue, out of the eyes, and it puts it where it needs to be. So always make sure you couple those together. For every five to 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3, get about 100 micrograms of K2. Vitamin C, just like zinc, it helps to deactivate the virus so it doesn't replicate as fast. Zinc helps with 
increasing the number of T cells to fight off the infection or the virus. You can't actually kill a virus because it's not actually alive. When you get a flu shot, you're not actually getting anything that kills the virus. You're getting the virus itself. Little pieces of the virus and something called an adjuvant. That's the word of the day, adjuvant. Look that up. I don't want to get too deep into it, but you don't want that in you. Some adjuvants that have been used before are things like aluminum, mercury, and other things. Basically, in order for a vaccine to work, you have to have a immune response. So their immune response is triggered by adjuvants and of course the pieces of fragments of the flu itself, which in essence just means you're stimulating your own immune system to do the job anyway. So if someone walks past from the grocery store and sneezes, that's your flu shot. The number one thing you want to remember is to keep your immune system high. It's not just for the flu, it's not just for the coronavirus, it's for anything, including the common cold. And last but not least, I want to talk about my favorite. This is oil of oregano, which means it's concentrated and formulated into this oil essence, I guess you could call it. The oil itself is antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. If you put it between your toes, if you have fungal infections, it'll clear that up. Skin infections, it'll clear that up. If you feel like you're getting sick and you take a few drops, it actually deactivates on contact. Then it'll clear it right up. This is like, not instant, but virtually within 24 hours. The active ingredient inside of oregano oil is something called carbacol, so just make sure that percentage is pretty high. I just keep this on me at all times. Now, to be clear, this is the strongest stuff possible. I got this, it's pharmaceutical grade, so what I do is I make my own, and I cut it with a carrier oil, like olive oil. You can take it straight, but it's gonna burn. This is like a really spicy spice. None of these might be pleasant at the time. It rarely is, but you get to choose. You can go with the sickness and the symptoms, or you can go with prevention and healing. I always choose prevention and healing. So it's up to you. These are just some tips that I have. Minus the produce, everything you saw today is on my Amazon shop. It's amazon.com slash shop slash mode challenge. Also, I have videos already made on certain one of these, how to make your own, and actually how to heal other parts of your body, like your sinuses, your respiratory system, really cool stuff, really effective stuff. Stay safe, stay healthy. If you have any questions, just DM me or send me an email at justin at changeyourmode.com. I love answering questions. No question is stupid. If you find yourself being skeptical of anything that I talked about today, do your research. I'm not a doctor, but I know what works. There's a million other people that do too. It's been used since the beginning of time. That's how we stayed healthy. And you can too. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you soon.